Once more, Mas is okay. Here, as promised us that I was going to go back to Ebony State um, to bring to us the status of the Ebony International Airport. That promise is here once more fulfilled. I went to Ebony State to see this marvelous airport. As always, sit back and enjoy as you enjoy this journey with me. Ebony State International Airport was started about five years ago. That airport is the fourth airport in the southeast. It must be noted that all the airports in the southeast were all built by the various states. This is the road to the airport. This road is about 3.5 kilometers long. A very, very well done road. This road, unlike every other road in Ebony State, is done on concrete pavement. The state under Governor Dave Omai does every single construction in that state on concrete pavement. There are two entrance gates to the airport. One that will lead you onto this road after a bridge. Second one is the one that will lead you into the airport. There are, under the Evil Mine, about 23 flyovers constructed within the last 80 years in Ebony. It will be fair to say that the governor has transformed the face of Ebony State as it concerns infrastructure. It is my considered opinion that he has built the state as if there was no governor before him because everything you see in Ebony State appears to be built by him. At this point, let us get into the airport. As I said before, this is the entrance to the airport. You will see security personnel and you get cleared you are allowed to get into Ebony State International Passenger and Car. The car park at this airport is well laid out. According to the Commissioner for Information for Ebony State, this car park took a bill of about 1.8 billion naira all done with concrete pavement the airport terminal you are looking at here is one of the best airport terminal you can see in nigeria today sit around let's go inside the airport inside the airport you have state-of-the-art facilities you have an escalator you have the finest of materials used at this airport at the point of filming this there were a lot of workers working here cleaning the site for the last time, you will hear the noise at the background. Here you have the check-in counters with the luggage conveyors. This is indeed very good. This is the airport terminal once more as I said. This airport terminal is split into two. You have the local and the international. When you go up, we will still see 
the two sides of that sitting arrangement. And here is Mazes, okay? Before you accuse me of showing you something in a different country, not in Nigeria, I say, let me show my face. These airports, like I said before, is done with the finest of materials. Once more, this is the other side of the check-in desks. You can see the check-in desks here are the way check-in desks should be. Comparatively to what we have in other airports across Nigeria. These airports, like I said before, is done with the finest of materials. Once more, this is the other side of the check-in desks. You can see the check-in desks here are the way check-in desks should be. Comparatively to what we have in other airports across Nigeria. Here you have the escalator, the lift and the stairs to go up. If you choose to use the escalator, you can use the lift or you can use your two legs. It was indeed a good sight to behold. If you go to your left, you will see another check-in counter that is different from the one you saw before now like i said indeed a lot of thought went into the design of this airport and its construction on the floor you have the marble compare that to quote unquote some international airports where you have towel that will do wear out because of traffic but here you have a high density marble being used on the floor from the top floor you can actually look down on the departure lounge down and at the top you have shops that are yet to be occupied. We do not know if people have taken them on or if there are still vacancies. Maybe the state will eventually provide more answers. But for now, the shops are well done and the sizes are also very good. There is one thing that I noticed regarding the doors, both at the toilet entrances, is that it's a very good doors fire resistant doors that was used here here you have the other side of the departure lounge the departure lounge as i said before is in two parts one the international one the local from the materials used there is no way i could tell which one is the departure for international or local but hey the test of the pudding is in the eating. We will know more about that once the airport is fully functional. On the floor, you can see you have the marble being used across board. The air conditions are industrial ACs, and you can see that you know the whole place is so massive. Indeed. When you talk about space, the spacing is awesome. This is the other part of the departure lounge at the left. What you saw before was the one on the right. This is the one on the left. Again, the same space on both sides. According to the Ebony State Governor, the total cost for this airport is put at 36 billion now. Compare that to the airport in my state of Anambra, 
where up to now we do not know the cost of that airport. As it were, everything is shrouded in secrecy. We do not know how much it cost us to build an Umbrella State airport. Here you have the VIP lounge. Ebony State Airport will serve, obviously, the people of Ebony, Abia, Benue, Obudu Range, Calabar, Enugu, Anambra, and other states surrounding it. The airport, as I noted before, is the fourth airport in the southeast. The airport is both passenger and cargo. It has secured approval for inaugural flight, which has happened a couple of days ago. It must be noted also that the Ebony State House of Assembly members forfeited three years of their constituency project funds in order to channel those funds to completing these airports. What it means is that the 36 billion that was used for this project came from the state. At this point, let us go to the luggage reclaim area. This is the arrival part that has a couple of desks dedicated for the passport control or the immigration control before you come out to claim your luggage. You can see that the carousel for bringing out your luggage are in two parts here. On your left are trolleys already procured and more of them are also parked somewhere else already procured for the use at the Ebony International Airport. The white desks you see there are immigration and custom control at the airport. Again these are the trolleys all stacked up and you have here the scanners also that will scan luggages before they are taken out in some cases. Again, note that this is passenger and cargo airport. This airport, when it becomes fully operational, will help the people of Ebony to export their farm produce and also help them to earn foreign currency. This would also help Ebony to be a more independent state, which would increase their internally generated revenue. It is indeed a masterstroke as it will create more job within the airport and its surroundings. The airport is located at Onweke, Izi, South Local Government Area of Ebony State. On the wall of the airport are adorned with photos of Nigerian icons and past leaders like the Zik of Africa, Dr. Okonjo Iwala, Professor Chinoal Mogo Achebe, and many more. At this point, let us go out once more and look at the parking space. And now we will be heading to the runway. As I promised us in my previous video that from my coming back again, I'm going to go to the wrong way and have a spin 
around the wrong way. To have access to the wrong way, you need to clear through a gate because this is a highly secured area that not everyone would have access to. This airport is one of the few airports that is fully fenced. This is the gate that will allow you access to the back of the airport. On your left is where you have the fire service. Driving on the apron to gain access to the wrong way. Indeed, a very smooth drive. It must be noted that Ebony State International Airport is built on a concrete pavement that has a lifespan of over 50 years. Yes, you had it right. 50 years. The runway is the thickest runway in Nigeria at 65 centimeter concrete pavement. The 65 centimeter thickness of this airport runway allows it to carry the world largest cargo plane. The world largest plane can land at this airport. There is no other place in Nigeria that has this level of thickness, that has this concrete pavement runway that can do that. That alone sets Ebony apart and that is the likelihood to attract much cargo planes to land here. Those are the instrument landing systems, you know, and they're already installed. They're my back there. You know, it was a smooth ride to do the 3.5 kilometer uh, runway. This is amazing, honestly, amazing to be here to say why we elect people is for them to work. Hate Dave Umahe, like Dave Umahe, you cannot take one thing away from him. He has done marvelously well as it concerns infrastructure to the people of Ebony State. Look, look, others couldn't do something as big as this, even when they had so much money saved for them. Others will borrow money money after money 
as we have this in, in the case of Delta, yet the airport will be near, nothing near what you have here. I'm not trying to knock any other person down, but I think we should have people who think big. This airport. I will be surprised that in the next two years that international airlines are not, you know, will not start landing here. This is marvelous. I can't like this enough. 05. 05. This is it, people. This is it. I do that which is passion for me. I would rather be on site looking at project and holding governments to account because that's what they promised that they do. And here we are in Ebony. A project delivered. A plus for the Southeast. Thank <laughs> you.